how to have a work life balance in the nail industry, any industry really. I don't know that we're the right people to talk about this topic, but we're gonna talk about this topic right now on the Biz Talk. First, I have to bring yes. it up. Yes, bring it up, Trace. My hair. Yeah. It's looking quite lovely. It so, is. So it we, is looking. So we were both next door. I don't know what you were doing, but I was in the warehouse and I come back and it's pouring and I have to run from that building to this building. I walk in and the uh, Ramones downstairs and he's like, whoa, because it's just drowned you, rat. You, you were, you were <laughs> drowned, drowned rat. rat. Oh my God. Five minutes, not even five minutes later, he comes just walking over completely dry. The rain had stopped for him. Of course it stopped for me. The and, rain knows. And then of course... At the very end of the day, he goes, ready to film this talk. <laughs> Tracy, if call me crazy, but are you not right now blaming it on the rain? <laughs> don't do not do that. You can't. It's a good song. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. I just saw a documentary, <laughs> by the way, on um, the like one of the most like famous uh, music executives, which I can't remember his name now. Anyway, he he found Millie Vanilli and they were talking about it, you know, and they're like, we don't care if, if they were lip singing, they were awesome. And I'm like, exactly. Good music. Exactly. Such, <laughs> such good and music, man. Gold. Oh my God. And it, I didn't even care. Like even when we found out, we're like, oh my God, the lip singing, who cares? Like I love the ding, 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 like that beat is forever in my brain. And now mine. And now yours. Exactly. All right. What were we um, talking about? What is the subject today? Today's topic is, um, how to have a work life balance. Okay. I chuckle a little bit because maybe some people would say that we don't have a work life balance. I would beg to differ. I would say this is what I, okay, let me, let me say this first uh-huh. before we, we, we jump into this. There are moments where the balance is very much off. Correct. Right. Mm hmm. But overall, I think we find a way to get there, okay? That's number one. Number two, everyone's definition of work-life balance is different. different. So it's kind of a tricky question, right? Like there are times where, where we're in here way more than normal, right? Right, and then we go home. And then we go home. And we, and, and we work, right? That happens. Now, that is that is the case for, for us, right? We're, we're uh, running the company. And anybody here in, in management is working extremely hard. Exactly. Everybody's working hard here, honestly. Uh, everybody's yeah, of working course. hard. But what is work-life balance? Like, if you ask me that question, it's a completely different answer than asking somebody down the street, right? Yeah. So... Um, I think the first thing to sort of unpack is what does work-life balance mean to you? I hate it when people tell me, when they look at me and they say, hey, uh, you work way too much, buddy. You know, you don't spend enough time with your family. You don't, you don't spend enough time with your family. You don't uh, like just judging, 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 right? With no facts behind it. Yeah. You have no life. Like, how do you even deal and with zero facts behind it? You know, and my answer is, well, I've simplified my life so that I have work and I have family. Exactly. And I don't, I choose to not do a lot of other things. I don't go out. I don't spend time. I mean, right now nobody's going out, but even when things were open pre COVID, I wasn't going out to um, like bars and hanging out and meeting and friends. Just meeting and- friends. I, I just, you know, not that I, I love my friends and we like, we have like a core group of friends I grew up with, but it's my choice where it's like I spend so much time working. And even when I'm at home, when I'm not working, I am with family. And so. Right. That's my work-life balance. And right? let's define being with your family too, because I find that there are people who are like, well, you know, I work my 40 and that's great, you know. Um, perfect. Perfect. Uh, 
but even when they go home, they're not spending time with the family. Right. So right. you have just maximized my time. Your time. Yes. I am extremely efficient with my time. So like I spend so much time with my kids and my wife. I mean, I it's it's to the point where my, my wife is all like, Don't you need to go to work? Like <laughs> Can you get the hell out of the house? <laughs> Tracy, could you tell Habib there's an emergency down there? There's an emergency. Get his ass out of the house. Not cussing. Sorry, we're not cussing. We're not cussing. <laughs> but um, but I, I agree. Like, it, it's hard. I, I think as I get older, I have learned to not listen to the noise. Yes. Because it makes me happy what I do. You just like hit the absolute key. Continue, continue. But when I was listening to the noise, I felt like there was something wrong with me. And then Habib, I would stress myself out, like trying to hide (laughs) that I'm working Working. because I don't want people to think I'm working, you know, when I'm on vacation or what I'm doing. If I'm working on vacation, it's because I want to. Right. And and I'm just relaxing, chilling, doing whatever I'm doing. Right. You know? And once I learned like, yo, I'm, and, and believe me, there are times that I am, off balance sure you know that yeah i do you know i need i am on vacation take it down a notch you know you know try to decompress a little and i've learned to do that but when i was so worried about what other people would think Mm -hmm. i wasn't happy right i wasn't doing what was making me happy um now i you know even my husband he's like you know i really thought he, he told me this i think i told you when he said this i don't know when it was about six months ago or so he's like, i really thought it kind of was your work he's all but i'm realizing it's just you mm. this is what you like to do mm. i like to sit in the living room when i get home and look over the reports and do all that stuff and get myself it's enjoyable yeah, yeah. but if i see someone else who doesn't want to work that way who wants to go to work and they don't want to, you know, they have a certain amount of time that they want to work and that's their work life balance. I'm not going to judge them for it. Totally. That's what makes them happy. Whatever makes you happy. Yeah. Whatever is now that doesn't mean like, Oh, but what makes me happy is laying on the couch all day long. Right. "Eh, Right. You're a little off balance. (laughs) Um, But you got to do what makes you happy. And what, and that includes coming you know, with your family and yep. deciding what that is too. But what I like about what you said about spending time with your family, you have maximized or you make sure that that time is with them. Right. So my father, I've, to- I've told you this before, he worked for the government. He was gone a lot. Yeah. A lot. I mean, there was a time that he was gone for uh, over a month. Wow. At one time. I don't remember that at all. Yeah. Why? It's because when my dad was home, he was with me. Yeah. I was his world. Totally. He maximized his time with right, me. Right, exactly. So I didn't think about it, ever notice it. Yeah, I think there's like, it's it's being, you know, I mean, it's being efficient with your time, but with, with your family, it's really being present, right? Yeah. Like really being present. So if you're present for 30 minutes, you know, this is just a random example, but like if you're present for like 30 minutes with your your family versus you're in the room for five hours, but everybody's just in their own zone and nobody's talking or paying attention, that's just completely, completely different. You know, like I really engage with my family. Yeah. I engage. You play games, you guys do all kinds Everything of things. Yeah. Everything together, yeah. together. And like what you said earlier though, Tracy, is the absolute key for me in defining work-life balance because it's so different for everybody it 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 has to come down to happiness right it has to come down to that it's what makes you happy you know and i think there are there are lines that have to be drawn still like like you said you know well laying on the couch all day makes me happy well is that lazy and so you just don't want to do anything and so there's like a is that really happy or you work so much that you're obsessed to the point where you 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 literally see your family zero and you literally see anybody and you don't you can't even have a conversation that you're so upset that's also not not healthy right right? you're not actually happy they're not actually stressed out correct yeah correct exactly you're You're doing it because it's more of like an addiction and you're not truly, truly happy. I think that is the defining thing is, you know, okay, am I happy 
am working 40 hours a week and I love my job, but then also I have other things I do outside of work and I love that balance. And mm-hmm. so I'm good or okay. I want to in, in like, in my case, I love uh, the challenge of growing a business, right? right? As do you, right? We're, we're so similar in that way. And so I enjoy working more than most people do because I like that puzzle, you know, putting that puzzle together and figuring things out and turning dials and um, making content and making videos, all this stuff, I, I actually, deep, deep down inside, I like it. Yeah. So I don't mind if we shoot three, four, five videos in a day or six intros or, you know, I got to put up four TikTok posts and then like a lot of times it, it can get, you know, overwhelming and it's like, whoa, this is a lot, but the core of it, I love it. And so like, I got to do what makes me happy. I used to do the same thing as you. I used to judge myself because everybody would tell me you're dude, there's something wrong with you. Yeah. You know, you're, you're, you work way too much or you, when you get into something, you get into it too hardcore and there's something wrong with you. And I was like, shit, there's something wrong with me. There's something wrong with me. You know, I'd always say to myself, there is. <laughs> Well, (laughs) besides not about that though besides the obvious yes um and it wasn't until like really kind of recently like four or five years ago where it was just like oh my god this is just who i am yeah and i like doing this stuff so um and i do spend time with my family and i put my time in the right places i don't spread myself thin i become efficient yeah so efficient yes right exactly Exactly. And I think that, you know, speaking to salon life, like yeah. translating it to salon life. Now, again, you got to do what, you know, makes you happy. What, 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 you know, financially you, you and your family need you to do. But like, you have to look in the mirror. Like, am I doing this because I don't know how to say no and I'm not happy. Right. And I'm working myself to death and I, my body hurts, you know, yeah. I mean, it's, salon life is, it's hardcore Dude, on yourself, it's hardcore. you know, you have to, you know, are you take, you know, not taking a day off, you were going to take Saturday off, but your client begged you to come in, so you're going to go ahead and go in, now, then you're off balance, Yeah. You, well, you're letting people determine your balance, totally, and, and that comes in with, this is something that we talk about all the time, like setting those boundaries mm-hmm. with your client, you need to raise your prices, you need to charge for nail art, you need to let them know cancellation policy. You need to let them know all these things, right? Days off. Days off that you got to take. Yeah, and I, legit, I did not answer my phone on my days off. Yeah, and from salon. Yeah. Yeah. No, it just, I will get to it. I will go in, you know, an hour early and I will get to it then. You answer your phone now on your days off. <laughs> it's different. It's different. <laughs> it is, it is different. I know, I'm kidding, it I'm is, kidding. You know what I mean? It is, it is First of all, uh, it's not letting ten people. Yeah, it's just different. It's different. I'm 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 totally joking. It, it really, I don't answer it when it's Habib though. <laughs> Click. Eh. Um, no. So like, I there there's that's why it's such a tricky question, yeah. right? Especially in salon life where you could have somebody that really loves nails and wants to build a career doing nails, but then if you don't know how to say no or say yes to yourself, or raise your pricing, and build your business in the right way, which all those things build confidence too. They build they build more confidence. The more that you say no to clients, yeah. in the right way, right? I'm not saying your client walks in and like, no. can I get this? No, you get nothing. <sighs> and like, turn into like, you know, Mad Max zone. I don't even know what that is. I just made that up, but whatever. That's a thing now, Mad Max zone. <laughs> And go cray on your client. We're not saying to do that. We're saying communicate effectively. Yeah. And it builds confidence and it you enjoy your career right. more. You're going to enjoy it more. And I will say too, Habib, I mean, I enjoyed salon life. I did. I, I loved my clients. I enjoyed what I did. But it actually wore on me a lot more than this does. Yeah. You know. Um, the intensity. It the people it's the people. a lot of people yeah. you yeah. know and a lot of trying to you know hope people like their nails there's that stress of it there you know and, and just dealing with everybody's uh schedules and things like that it i had to turn off those days 
or yeah. I would I would have went crazy for me personally. That was my boundary when it came to nails. Um, I can he, see that. Though. Yeah, here. I can turn it on and off, yeah, right? Like yeah. a Saturday, I turn it off when I want. I turn it on when I... Clients, you can't do that. Right. And they're like, you're going to be on at. Right. And you can go home when you're done with me. Like, yeah. Mm, yeah. And and that's why at the core of it... I mean, how long did you nails for? For... <laughs> no, 97 to... Go eight? Something 11 like years in yeah. the salon in salon until you you Maybe a little longer is that where you started with us was in 08 no i started with you guys in 04 but distribution you started in 08 D- yeah but so i you... didn't quit in salon because i had a salon i didn't quit salon right away okay so i would i would say 07 08 yeah okay there. so good 10 11 solid years yeah. in the salon. In salon yeah that's a that's a that's a solid stretch and and so like you want to go like long-term career you have have you've got to find your work life balance Balance. like you have to find that there's no there's there really is no other way like you have to find that work-life balance whatever that is for you yeah i guess what we're trying to say is (laughs) what makes you happy what makes you happy don't don't pay attention to what the person next to you is doing yeah you you have to figure out what is it makes me happy um, like Melissa, right? Like mm-hmm. she can go 15 clients and, it, and she likes to move, yeah. man. Yeah. She likes to go, 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 but, go. But she's much the same as me. Yes. On our days off, when it comes to salon, we're off. We're off. Done. Totally. It, yeah. She's just, you know, she'll be like, oh, they're texting me. I'm not answering. Yeah. I told they know I'm not, I don't answer on these days. So, right. Right. You know, same with me, 15, 16 hours a day. I hustled. I liked doing that. Yeah. I like it too. But day off you, you got to shut it down gotta shut it down so i think in total you know when you're looking for that work-life balance you've got to look at a couple things first of all what makes you happy do you like to work more do you like to work less do you want more of a standard schedule and then you're off uh and you're done whatever that is you know do you like maybe commissions the answer for you where you're in you're out or maybe it's opening up your own or going um, booth rent. You know, I've met techs that are on commission and they're like, I'm good. Yeah. I, I don't want to have my they, own business. They make good income. They don't yeah. have to stress about certain things. They love it. They love it. And that's knowing who you are, yeah. right? That's really knowing who you are. And like that will help to define what your balance is. And then the second part of it is I love what Tracy said, which is um, really being able to, like you've got to say no to your clients. And and what we mean by that is setting those healthy boundaries, you know, raising prices when you need to, um, setting your policies and that communication, those sort of quote unquote difficult conversations that you have to have. They don't have to be difficult. You can just be transparent and be be uh, respectful in your tone and communicate your policies effectively. It's gonna make your life so much better and lead to Absolutely. like a very healthy work life balance, right? I like it. I like it too. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Um, what is your work life balance? Are you commission booth rent? Do you go hardcore in your days off? You shut down or somewhere in the middle? Love to hear about it. Tracy, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you next time on the Biz Talk.